this teacher has kind of said things in the past that would maybe be like not something you would super want to hear from a teacher. A teacher, a hanging doll, and a racially charged controversy at Whitney Young High School. And tonight, a major update. Nate Rogers is live with more. Nate. Yeah, that's right, Corey and Don. That major update breaking news. We just learned that the teacher has been removed from the classroom here at Whitney Young High School by CPS. Some students tell us that he's known to be controversial, making racially charged statements in the past, also previously making a mockery of the Black Lives Matter movement. A heated argument between Whitney Young educators right in front of students. It happened after a white history teacher had this black football doll hanging from a projector with a cord around its neck. We know what that looks like. The incident occurred Monday morning, according to a letter from Principal Joyce Kenner. The teacher said he found the doll in his classroom and wanted to see who'd claim it. A colleague approached the teacher after taking offense. I was honestly just surprised that, like, that's something that would happen. Like, one, here at the school, two, by a teacher. Knowing the teacher, though, it seems pretty on brand for him. Um, I had him freshman year. A petition on change.org with more than 500 signatures called for the history teacher to be fired. The petition saying the staffer is known to spread, quote, misinformation and bigotry throughout the school. These seniors know the teacher well. Today, they attended an assembly to discuss the issue. I don't think they really answered or, like, said what we wanted to hear. Like, we want him fired because there's been multiple incidents. I do think there should be some form of repercussion. And then we're still waiting to learn back from CPS if this teacher has been suspended or terminated altogether. We do know that he's been with the district some 20 years. Um, and, and we're told that Dr. Kenner, Dr. Joyce Kenner, did send a, a statement in part saying that the school will follow official disciplinary protocols established by CPS. We're live in the West Loop. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.